one child dies every 15 seconds due to waterborne disease or a lack of water. That's a statistic that I heard about two years ago and when I met with Phil and Julie Hepworth from Water for Africa. And um, it's an alarming statistic because if it was anywhere in Australia or America, we'd be horrified. But, you know, because it's in Africa, we don't seem to notice as much. So here we are. My name's Steve Fraser. I'm a photographer and I've been travelling for the last 10 days in Tanzania with Phil and Julie looking at the work they do and recording it and um, have been really impacted to see what water means to a nation that doesn't have any. So we've been fixing wells and putting wells in and, and looking at how you bring water to a community. In some cases, the worst example we saw was where people have to walk 34 kilometres, 17 kilometres there, and then 17 back carrying water just to get a drink and they have to do it every single day. And some of the lesser examples, they still have to go five kilometres. And if you're in pretty rugged conditions in Tanzania, that means um, hours and hours of just fetching water, which in most cases is dirty and polluted. You know, you and I, we, we probably walk five or six feet or we buy one of these and we have a really nice cold drink and it's beautiful water. But for a lot of people in Africa, they actually don't realise that water's clear because this is what they drink. This is some that we collected. So you look at how dirty and diseased and that leads to a whole bunch of issues with sanitation, with children dying. And then some of the other issues it brings about is that the girls are mainly the ones that have got to go and fetch the water. So what happens is they're taken out of school, so education misses out, and then they're vulnerable when they leave their village to attack, to being raped, to a whole bunch of awful things happening to them. So it's been really great to see what one well in one village can do for them. People stay there, they're safe, they're secure, they can get an education, it can change their lives. So hopefully if you're watching this and um, you know you want to check out more of Water for Africa, go to their website and have a look and just see maybe how you can get involved and make a difference. So from Tanzania, bye.